Hi, and welcome to a short tutorial on another Outlook add-in from Sperry Software. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the Schedule Recurring Email add-in. This add-in allows you to automatically schedule and send repetitive emails at intervals that you specify. You might send a reminder about an upcoming event like a sports practice, monthly board meetings, a birthday, an anniversary, three-day holiday weekends, or to remind you or someone else to take their medication. I've already started Outlook, so I'll click on the Sperry Software Add-in button, and then click on Schedule Recurring Email. And finally, I'm going to click on Add. Creating a recurring scheduled email begins by either creating or selecting a template. Now, this is the first time I've used it, so I'm going to create a brand new template. When you click on the Create Edit Template button, you may get a message like this that asks you to fill out the email exactly as you want it to be sent, and not to send the email, but rather to save and close it. You do have the option of checking a checkbox to not have this message appear, so the next time it wouldn't appear if you have that checkbox checked. The next step is very important. You fill out this email just like you would fill out any other email that you'd create, including the to line with whoever you're sending it to, and of course the subject and the body of the email. The key is when you're done creating this email, you want to close it by clicking on the X at the upper right of the window. Outlook will then ask you if you wish to save it and you want to answer yes. You then return to the recurring email configuration screen and you'll notice at the top that that email we just created, 3-day weekends, is now the template we're going to use. Now we want to schedule it. The first thing we want to do is schedule the email when it's going to be sent out for the very first time. We do that with the drop down list for the date and then use the up and down arrows to set the time. The repeat interval section is very powerful. As you see, there are options for daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, and random dates. If we look at daily, weekly, or monthly, you notice you have options for it repeats on a daily or weekly basis, how often it occurs, for example, every day or every other day. Does it happen every week? Does it only happen on certain days of the week? And for the monthly and yearly sections, there are appropriate options for those types of time spans. Since this email is about three-day weekends, I'm actually going to choose random dates. By clicking on the drop-down list, I can enter random dates. So for my three-day holidays, I could choose to put this out on Memorial Day, July 4th, Labor Day, and so on. The next section is the ending date for the email. Do you want them to continue forever? Then you select no end date. You can set a specific end date with the drop-down list or you can choose to end the emails after X number of occurrences. In other words, after 10 have gone out, you don't want them to go out anymore. Finally is the Options section, where you can choose to send specific files as attachments with this email. You can do it with specific files using the checkbox and then the Choose File button to select whatever files, or you can put the files in one specific folder and say, send all the files in that specific folder. Finally, some other options having to do with your file attachments. You can have the add-on only send the email if the file exists that you wish to have attached. If the file isn't there, then the email won't be sent. You can choose to have the file deleted after sending, and you can also have the add-in display the email before sending. So that's it. That's how you configure a recurring email. Thanks for using Sperry Software Outlook add-ins, and be looking for more video tutorials.